are at DevOps Belgium 2018, and I've got a good friend of mine, Audrey, here. Audrey, hello. Thank hello. you for coming and talking to me. <laughs> Thanks for inviting me. No worries. Um, what are you doing here? Well, um, first I came to talk about micro frontend. Okay. And second, well, you know, I get this uh, podcasting in French. Sorry, uh, we would do on Friday morning. Which is Le Casque de. Exactly, a French podcast on development, made by developers, for developers. In French. In French. For, for French developers, by French developers. Kind of, well, you can, you can learn French, you know, and then listen to Le Casque de. that's still an option. Or you could have it translated. Perhaps, somehow. Perhaps. Not sure you want all jokes being translated. You know, <laughs> Guillaume Laforge is making a lot of jokes. <laughs> <laughs> you might lose something in translation there. Um, all right, micro front end. So look, microservices, they're so hype right now. Thank in you. actual fact, I mean, I've, for the last two years in so many different conferences, microservices is the, probably the word that comes up most in mm -hmm. all of the abstracts submitted in the call for papers. And they're so hype. But on the front end? Yeah. Come on then, talk to me. Well, you know, it, it, um, it's a little bit like the next step of architecture evolution. So uh, we broke this backend monolith. We know that monolith is the bad thing, so we broke it. We split it into microservices. But then we still have this front end monolith. And obviously, it's as hard to maintain, as hard to evolve than your backend monolith was. Mm -hmm. And uh, so the idea here is to consider the front end as an aggregation of features. And so you're keeping your um, microservices and your small team, because that's you know, the other point of microservices. It's not only about technique, it's all about team organization. So yet, these small teams, uh, those small teams, which are completely focused on one domain, sometimes several if they are small enough. And so you're going to do the same with your front end. So you're going to split it into an aggregation of component, and every team will be in charge of it's part of the application, but end to end, okay. including the front end. So what are some of the bigger challenges that people wanting to adopt this approach are going to find? Um, so the thing is, you get um, the same approach than with microservices, meaning that you should be able to work with any technology you wanted to. So it means that, for example, uh, in an e-commerce company, the product team would work with Angular, and the search team would work with React. Mm -hmm. And uh, those teams are going to build pages, including those technologies together, and it has to work. And that's when the thing become a little bit tricky. And in doing this, have you seen, have you, you had some mistakes? <laughs> we are, <laughs> 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 that's, yeah, that's what the talk is about, actually. Yeah. We, we failed twice okay. uh, before finding the right solution for us. And that's a big thing because um, we realized after that actually the reason why we failed with the two first tries is because we were not in the right use case. Mm. So it completely depends on um, are you, like e-commerce companies, are you going to um, have a page and include components provided by other teams or are you going to aggregate several single page applications together, mm. which is exactly what we are doing? And so it, you know, the, the technical approach is completely different in function of the use case. Yeah. So advice for people that, is it do it, don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's a very first yeah. good advice, very good one. Try. Um, <laughs> um, no, what, so some advice um, for anybody. There is a lot of documentation um, around. You know, at the moment there is not one solution emerging like as the solution. So, several options uh, on the table. I will definitely recommend to you know take a little bit of time to study at all of them, um, to try to estimate which one will be the best. But first, really think about use case. That's perhaps the main um, the main thing I've tried you know to transmit in my talk. Like, think about use case first. That will save you a lot of time. Thank you very much. Thank you for inviting me again. Have a great talk tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you. Cheers.